folks, what's going on? Justin Masson here with Nintendo Dads, and we've got a first look at the Plucky Squire out now on the Nintendo Switch. Now, by the time you're watching us a video, um, Plucky Squire will have been out for a couple days. Meant to get a video out earlier, just got caught up with, uh, with life, as you do. Uh, but sure, look at here we are. We're going to jump into it. Just loading now. Now, Plucky Squire has, of course, um, been on, like, tons of people's radar for quite some time. So excited to see it finally hitting. Um, yeah. We're going to play. New file. New game. Adventure mode. Feeling plucky and want to challenge his motives for you. Relax and enjoy the story. I'm going to take adventure mode. I'm in for an adventure. Yeah, so this gave me this. I mean, this this was showed off a year, maybe two years ago. And everyone was super uh, engaged with the idea of it. Um, and excited for it to come out. And so finally it is out, which is exciting. Nice VO already. I like that. Chroma. Okay. Humgrum. Okay. Right on. I love the kids' book feeling to it, right? There's no doubt. I also like he like kind of looks like Waldo from Where's Waldo. Is that where we pick up now? Okay. I like the stage, I like how it's set. It's, all right, there we go. So B is my jump. A is roll. Y is chop, okay? All right, what's going on here? Also, as I'm getting closer to this, the the music beat, my uh, the controller's vibrating to it. That's cool. I didn't choose that, by the way. It just took me there. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. What do you got? I need more. Okay. Honey Peak and get some extra Benny B. Honey Peak, bun Benny B. Done yeah, it. Okay. A mini quest. Okay. No sweat. Okay. To enter. Okay. Got little light bulb things. Yeah, got it. Nice. Haha. <laughs> Can I chop down trees? 
some bongos over here. What's going on here? Bongos. <laughs> um, read. Town tower. Okay, well, let's go this way then. Hmm. The gates, gates swung open. Okay, awesome. Honey Peak. Okay. Sweet. Found Honey Peak. Oh, look at that. There's our land. Okay. Right on. Honey Peak. Okay. Yeah, there's our tutorial, right? Is it though? Is it? Nice. That was like a good quick little plot. Oh my, that's fun. A little quick platforming. Love that. Zonk. Perfect. Oh. Okay. There we go. Ooh, there's a honey badger. There's an owl totem, too. Tome tower, that is. Okay. Honey badger. Can be really cranky. Okay, well. Ooh, wow. Okay, all right. Here we go. Whoa, shot got buff, bruh. Oh, man. Obviously very inspired by Punch-Out. Oh, man. Oh, man. Boom. Take that, honey badger. I wasn't great at punch out, by the way. So if you're like, wow, you got worked. I wasn't great at punch out. The beast was bested. Adorable. Bloody squire, triumphant. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. Moonbeard sent me for some beeswax. Here you go. Awesome. Oh, what is going on? Ooh, what's going on over there? Uh oh. Thump. Down they fell. Oh no. Oof. It was time to confer with Up to his old tricks, that one. That's not usually the story goes, okay. Forget about that. It's a job for the plucky squire, Jot. Humgrum is in the tome tower. Head that way, make sure the little creep, Kate. Okay. Awesome. Hello, who's hello? Oh, who's this person? Looks like a paintbrush. It 
was Violet. Violet. Hello, Violet. Violet was a trainee witch. Ooh, a trainee with witch. A love of art. And Jot's childhood friend. Nice. Good for Jot to have friends. Moonbeard gave me the skinny. Okay. Look into this strange green magic and have a donut. But that's by the by. Okay, bye. Lead the way. Okay, well first, I'm going to grab all of these. I have no idea what they're for, but apparently if I collect them, things will happen. I guess, right? Obviously, some level of currency. Oh, there's something back there. Spring a step. What is this? Press Y to the show the gallery. Oh, okay, cool. Collectibles. Love that. That's awesome. Okay. Gleam in his spring to step and a gleam in his eye. Awesome. Hmm. What the? Okay, well, hold on a second. I've got a word here, so let's go. Let's go for the there. The gate. Collecting, collecting. I'm going to have to find a word, like swung open, maybe. Open, there it is. Oh, that's the first time I've seen my heart show up. So we're going to take the word, open, and the gate swung open. The gate swung open. Cool. Awesome. I like that. Oh, there's a heart. Cool. Greetings. Nice to meet you. Adventure. Okay. Slash. Let me show you what I have for sale. Oh, sale. That's where my currency comes in. Ooh. Well, I'm going to buy this. And I'm going to buy the badge. Okay, awesome. Yes. Throw the sword move. How do I do that? Okay, well, they're going to show me. Convenient. Oh, awesome. Nice little play on, like, the boomerang. We good here? Bruh? We're good here. I'm out. I'm okay. Okay, so now we understand what the currency is for. And apparently there's no lack of, of the light bulbs, so that's kind of cool. That's nice. Hey. Now, I don't know if, if, you know, what I'm noticing is, like, I got hit a couple times, and very quickly I'm getting life back. Is that a, just the way the game is created, or does it recognize, oh, you need health, so we're going to give you health? You know, does that make sense? Hey, who's this guy? I found a lost giblet. Okay, return to its home. Cool. Awesome. Okay, what's the sign say? Love it. Ooh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Boom. Oh, bother. Oh, bother indeed. Narrator, indeed. Chapter two, Tome Tower. A 
our heroes hug on to the cliff's edge by their fingernails. When suddenly, they were grabbed and hoisted up. Okay. By who? By Thrash. So Jot, Violet, and Thrash. Thrash was a mountain troll. As you'd expect him to be. And Jot and Violet's childhood friends. Of course, another friend. We have lots of friends. The trio had not been together for quite a while. And so we're very happy to be reunited. Happy indeed. Okay. Mojam. Okay. More than one. Okay, let's get down to the ground. Okay. Oh, wait. May as well, right? Off we go. Randomly trust someone to jump off the edge of a cliff. Oh, nice. Another little platforming part. This is awesome. Oh. I don't know if I took fall damage there. Well, again, hearts seem plentiful, so... Yikes. Okay. So yeah, so you can jump on them too, and that seems to do some damage. Like any good platformer. As cool as a cucumber. Right on. Excellent. That's cool. Not a huge challenge, but we got there, right? You can definitely see a little bit of, um, from a graphical perspective, the switch. It's pixelating some pieces a little bit. So you can definitely tell there's a little bit of a lag, or no, I shouldn't say lag, lag's a bad word, but you can tell it's pixelate is the best word I'm gonna use there. Oh, look at look at that as they come out of the book. They turn to three dimensions. Check that out. That's so cool. Which of course, I mean, spoiler alert, um, eventually we get a power or we're able to become three-dimensional jump outside the book, right? We're slowly working towards that. If you haven't seen any previews for the Plucky Squire, um, that is part of it. Got him. Got him. <laughs> oh, there's another scroll back there. Awesome. New piece of art. Fantastic stuff. Love it. What's this guy? Oh. That's a mini beard, tiny version. What's cooking? You'll need a key, okay? Oh, 
Okay, so if we're stuck, we can always talk to Moonbeard, right? Okay. This is what I'm being told. Oh, hold on. There it is, Kate. Figure it out. Here we go. I need them to... I need for you all. Go on this way. Go on this way. Nope. I need to trigger you this way. Oh, hmm. Okay, so I guess I'm going to just have to finish them off. And maybe that triggers the gate to open. There's one. There's two. Gate opens, yeah, right? Yeah, there's a face. Okay. Oshim Poshim. So this way. But that's one way we could go. However, I am always curious about the other ways. Because that was, oh, I, okay, I have to go around. Okay, that's fine. Because that's there for a reason. Like, it's not just a... Like, is there more to explore over there that would trigger maybe an uh, item, right? Or a uh, collectible or something. Also, nearly at 100... Um, hundred light bulbs. Okay, well, maybe not. All right, so we'll just keep going this way then. There we go. Off we go. Eric, so maybe I'll help you, but there's something in my tummy, okay? I left my biscuits around here somewhere. Okay. world in that sentence just there. There's a there's a word in that sentence just there, okay? That might be the key to all the landscape. Okay. through here now I have to go around okay here was a secluded ruin got it okay I see that place that there pick a forest place that oh forest 
Hello, my name's Horace, Horace Gump. There we go. And then... Biscuits. We'll take the biscuits from here. I'm going to come around. Pick up Forest. Put that there. Pick up Ruin. Put Ruin, put ruin there. There we go. Pick up our biscuits. Bring our biscuits to our friend. He now has his biscuits. We are all happy, right? Yay! Okay. Awesome. What do you got for me now? Ah, you were laying on the key. Okay. I will have to come around, grab the key, put the key in. Okay. Awesome. Relatively easy puzzle to solve. Nothing wrong with that. There's our ability to purchase more stuff. I will collect more of these. Purchase. Let's chat to our folks here. What do you got? I'll take another art school. Yep. Cool. So I got four of these. Okay. And yes, I will purchase that. Our trio stopped in their tracks. There, on the horizon. The totem. Tome Tower. Tome Tower. Okay. Strange electricity in the air. Ugh. That was interesting. Some bolts of lightning. Ooh. Spawning some weird monsters. Okay. Ooh. A little bit more. Uh, they take a little bit more hits than our uh, previous monsters we've been de dealing with. Ooh, that's a big one. Totally forgot I had the uh, the ability to throw my axe, or sorry, my uh, axe, my sword. Good old heart. Big heart. Oh, get off the way. Oh, I guess they can't get hurt. Awesome. Whoa, taking some damage here. To a point that I'm almost going to die. Oh, nice. It actually uh, grabbed that heart, too, which is brilliant. Okay. Oh, I didn't see that I needed to complete. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so that's interesting. It seems like uh, the game, proactively, if you're getting injured, gives you more health quickly it seems okay what do we
we got over here? Anything else we need to be aware of or explore? An entrance does look promising. Let's go that way. See a little bit of a shadow at the top of the book. Nice. I l this is fun. This is a cool level. Nice. Little secret area. Explored the impassable cave. I am curious. Is there anything down... Oh, nope, okay, that was death. My bad. I was like, oh, there's got to be a little bit of something down there. There is not. There is just me falling. Okay. Well, before I go and see them, I'm going to, I don't know restock on anything I might have. Alright, let's see what we got here. Yeah, what do you got? Ooh, spin attack, throw upgrade. I will... Ooh, I don't have enough, so I will do the scroll because I'm a sucker for those things. Oh, so I missed one. Okay, so I definitely missed one I need to go back and look for. And upgrade. Okay. Awesome. So it looks like I leveled up my throw attack. Oh. Bunches of books. Interesting. Really cool visual, though. Yeah, thank you. Yes, visually, that is very cool. That is a correct statement. Ooh, and stacked on purpose, or purposefully. Okay. Oh. Oh, I can see that one back there. Nice. Got that scroll. Ooh, that could be fun level. That looks fun. I'm going to just collect these. I know I have 150 of them that I need for that spin attack, so let's... Uh-oh. Enemies. Yeah, here we go. I like the fact that it gets it on the way back. That's awesome. Ah. Come on now. Oh man, I had I actually got stuck got stuck in the book there for a second. There we go. Okay, awesome. We'll take that. Pick up the key. Key will go in there. Pages were scattered all over the ground. Don't need... I don't really want to talk to him because I think he's, like, good for hints. I don't want that. 
Um, the books were... Let's do this. Can I... Ah! Okay, I guess I'll finish this guy first. Nice! Just wrecked him. We're purposely... I'm not... I'm going to take stacked and throw it over there. I'm going to take... Scattered. And I'm going to put it over here. Oh, that's a little too far. Come on, one more. There we go. And I'm going to take stacked. And I'm going to go put the paper stacked. Let's see if that happens. Anything that triggers anything. Look at that. Oh, and I can grab this. Oh, okay, I see. Because there appears to be a spot. I need to put this. Lovely. There we go. Awesome. Okay, let's head that way. Perfect. Okay, the time is near. Uh-oh. Bit creepy. Options. Cool. Okay. Quit. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of our first look at the Plucky Squire. Um, about 35 minutes, give or take. Really fun, really cute, uh, adorable. I love the uh, narration. The gameplay is fun. Uh, you know, moving from, you know, we've top down in the book and now we're side platformer. I'm excited to see what happens as we move into this three-dimensional space. Um, I think it's a lot of fun right now. Now, again, that's only 35 minutes into it, but it's enjoyable. I kind of love the wordplay that you get to move things around with. It's it's fun. It's enjoyable. I could definitely see sitting down with like a kid on a big screen playing this together, passing the controller. But I'm, as a 40-year-old man, compelled to continue to play it as well. This is really adorable. I'm excited to see where this goes. Hey, let me know in the comments below if you're picking up the Plucky Squire as well. If you're new here, click like, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff we're supposed to tell you to do. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.